wake up get ready go to school come back from school have lunch go to coaching come back from coaching have dinner self study or scroll through your instagram feed finally take some sleep wake up again and the cycle repeats as soon as a child turns 4 Going to school is part of every folklore. But have you ever wondered that this institution, which takes up six hours of a day and almost eighteen years of our lifetime, is it even structured for you and I? Do we even ask why? Jai Hind! I'm Ruthvi Mahindra, and my talk today would precisely be about asking questions and trying to find some answers. When we look at most billionaires and entrepreneurs and businessmen today, we find that most of them were school or college dropouts. That makes us ask one very important question: Is the education system even designed to make us successful in life, or is it just the journey that we take to finally be in a small office, sitting in front of a laptop? and running behind a rat race where we end up becoming clerks and nothing else does the education system even make us understand what our true calling is so today we have so many educators and even NEP 2020 talking about education as a whole the changes that can be brought in to make it better for the students Today my talk would be the students insight into the education system the students perspective inside education and what i as a student feel is very important to be taught from class 1 to class 12 to all schools uh, to all students irrespective of whether they choose science humanities or commerce and or even myself i have taken humanities with maths which is a liberal arts combination no matter what you take according to me these few things are very important to be taught to all number 1 is basic technology this goes without saying because today we live in our times and we have just been through two years where everything was happening online and i remember during the covid 19 time period when online classes were going my mother had even problem trouble shooting her email or some small little thing Uh, on the mobile phone now for her it is understandable and her education system did not incorporate it in its uh, curriculum which is very understandable because then technology as a whole had not percolated this deep inside our lives but now we live in this time and our education system should design us to be ready for the future that is coming the future of robotic scientists of robotic doctors and even robotic teachers which is why basic technology is very important for all students number 2 is basic psychology now i believe if we understand how our brain works We we perform efficiently well in no matter what we do. Now I'm not saying that psychologists or therapists are the best person on earth and they never do any errors, but they know how to step back and check in on themselves, check on others that they know. And this is one thing that psychology teaches us and is very necessary to be taught to all. The next is tax and how it works. Let me ask you all a question. What is the percentage of tax payers in our country today? It is 6.25% only. Now imagine if in our education system we were taught how tax system works, how and with GST coming up there are so many new complications that our education system should get us ready for. If in our education system we are not taught how income tax or GST impacts our lifetime, how to do tax filing would we even grow up how do we expect citizens to grow up and become tax payers so if basic tax and how it works is taught if tax filing is taught we will this 6.1% will exponentially grow and we will understand how to work as responsible citizens once we grow up no matter whichever career no matter no matter whichever sector we choose to work in next is linguistic skills Now the reason I'm able to communicate whatever I feel is necessary in the education system is because I have been taught how to uh, communicate well. But sadly, this is not the case with all students who do not actively 
actively participate in other uh, oratory or quiz activities or events. Now, when I say linguistic skills, I don't necessarily mean going behind English, French, Spanish. I also mean that it is very necessary at a small age to teach children their own cultural languages. And here I would like to take a moment and uh, tell you all that this is a feature under NEP 2020 which states that till class 5, till elementary education, students would be taught in their regional languages. Which I think is very necessary because once we are told something, once we are taught something in our mother tongue, we tend to understand it way better. And knowing our own language is the, is the way to understanding other languages and performing well no matter where we choose to, uh, you know, uh, perform in the future. The next is basic maths. Now this might be a little debatable with all those Instagram reels and memes about what the Pythagorean theorem helps us to do or where are we using sine theta, cos theta, tan theta. We might not be able to understand this, but I remember there's one thing that maths has taught me and that is how to solve a problem. So if x is equal to y, maths has taught me that x can be a million things, y can be a million things and we have to find that one which fits us the best. Basic maths, now speaking scientifically rather than metaphorically, basic maths helps us to understand uh, how basic things work and along with that, it uh, develops our brain to uh, work well, whether it is, uh, you know, even if you are going to buy something, you need to calculate first and that is very uh, important, which I see is missing today with Paytm working and Google Pay working, but that is something that is very necessary for all of us. Last is social skills. Ladies and gentlemen, in the end, man is a man, woman is a social being. Which is why it is very necessary to inculcate in students an understanding of this society that they have been living in. Which is why I have even included social skills here. If students are taught how to behave in a social setting, the number of crimes that are increasing in India would uh, exponentially decrease in the future. Apart from that, if we inculcate this, in the future there are way more uh, possibilities for us to collaborate together and reach solutions. And finally is concept. Now this might look a very a, a big variation from the list that I have been talking with tax, psychology and technology. But ladies and gentlemen being a woman somewhere, uh, being a girl who will grow up to become a woman, I think that when we put the question of rape, of any kind of assault. This basic understanding of what is right and what is wrong should be the basic base, it should be the fundamental base of our education system but sadly we are running behind scores and marks today. Which is why I think consent as a whole is very important to be taught to small children and in consent I would like to add a small section which is, you know, even small things like menstruation. I remember a few days back, uh, girls would go for a session of menstruation while boys would have to stay back in the classroom because uh, maybe it is not important for them to learn about it. But imagine if one of those boys grows up to become a single father and her daughter has to go through the same process. This is where teaching both girls and boys alike about all of these things becomes very important. So finally, to give a conclusion about everything would be the three L's that I've written towards the top, which is learn, unlearn, and relearn. We have to, we have been learning so many things. So many things are conditioned in our brain. The moment we are born by our own family, by our own friends, we need to unlearn what is not right, and then we need to relearn what actually should be taught and is right for us, our surroundings and our civilization as a whole. In the end, I would just like to say that whatever I have contributed is not, whatever I have said today in this talk is not something um, that would be the perfect solution to everything because we are talking about education and in education comes so many uh, uh, you know, uh, societies, there are people who do not have the access to basic schooling even today. So this is somewhere the way forward and hoping that we reach greater heights, Jenny.